Hey, it's Agnes Mo. What's going on, Hollywire? Agnes Mo Everybody here, Hollywire. Amazing. She's just giving compliments on the red carpet. Yes. I'm just happy I got one from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I heard, I heard this is your first uh, American red carpet. Not really. No? Actually, okay. like in 2010, I was the co-host of the red, co red carpet of American Music Awards. What? But I wasn't like, I didn't live in, in LA yet. Okay. So it was just like a one-time thing. Okay. So this is kind of like the first red carpet that I'm doing after I moved here. You moved yeah. here? Yes. She's living here now. I live here now. Awesome. You're like the queen though. <laughs> and it, you are the queen over there. Yeah. No, for real. Like, I heard <laughs> that they have a statue or something. They're making yeah. a statue of you. So Madame Tussauds Singapore has my wax figure. My, my, it's my wax wait, it's figure. made of wax? Yeah. Did you have to model or stand or pose oh my or God. anything for that? Oh my God, like eight hours of crazy measurement. But okay. but it's all worth it. It is worth it. It's worth it. Okay, I love your outfit right here. Talk, Thank talk you. about that. How long did that, was that worth it? It's worth it, of course. She looks yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. How long did that come together? This? Yeah, yeah. It's actually this morning. Just this morning? This morning, because I just landed from New York. I just did my show in New York. Okay. Uh, landed this morning, did the fitting with Zoe Costello. She's like, she's my stylist, amazing stylist. Uh, we have Blue Marine here, and then Escada, and then Giuseppe for the heels. Dang. They believe um, you. They might not be able to see those heels, but they'll believe they believe you. They, they'll believe me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and all diamonds. Oh, like, there we go. All, 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 Wait, all that was a really good segue. <laughs> that, you did, you're better at this than I am. <laughs> Tell us why. Tell us why. Go well, ahead. Well, you know, because I just put out a single with French Montana Dang. called Diamonds. I mean, that's a great segue, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm letting you go. <laughs> exactly. So we just put it out of, uh, about a few months ago. Uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. I mean, working with French, because he's, he's also like my brother, you know? So, really? so when we work together, it wasn't like, it's just a business strategy. Like, we actually believe in each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever hung out with French Montana? Yeah. I've, yeah, like, like I've he seen literally... him out at the club, and this guy, he's got the biggest crew. He had like a bigger you know, crew you know, than... You know what's crazy? I never really got to hung, hang out with him at a club. Okay. But I hung out with him at his house with like, you know, like his family and everything. Really? So you, you had the whole family treatment yeah. though, so you're like on yeah. another level. I, yeah, he's, he's amazing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, um, we're gonna play a game called Hollywire First. Okay. We're getting a, a full on sing, sing along over here to the right though. We just have to acknowledge it. Okay, cool. That, that we acknowledge it. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, uh, first, uh, what's the first movie? What's the first movie date that you've ever been on? First oh, movie date. I had to like hide because I, I didn't want to let your publicist to hear that one. Wait, first movie date? Yep, yep. Shit. I forgot. It's been a long time. Sorry. Right. What what's what's your first? Mine movie? was I was uh, in uh, sixth grade. Sixth grade. And you still remember that? Dumb and Dumber. Wait. D Your turn. I think it was. I think it was like fifth grade or sixth grade. But I've totally forgot. So we forgot. tied. We tied. I, we tied. We I, tied. But, but I forgot what the movie was. But it was mm, fifth, sixth grade. What was the first song you ever wrote? The first song that I ever wrote. Yep. Ooh. Um. I mean, it wasn't published, but I was like probably 14 years old. Yeah. But it was about. Some crazy breakup. Oh my God! Hold on. Are you, do you write breakup songs? <laughs> yeah, I do. You do, don't you? I actually, you know what? I think I write my best songs when I got heartbroken. Every time. Every that single like, time. Why is like, that? Like I don't know. It just feels like you get in touch with your feelings so much when when you're heartbroken. Yes. So I think that's probably the reason why a lot of artists would date asshole boyfriends. 100%. You know, to inspire them. You I feel know like I you mean? guys do that on purpose. Exactly. So you can come out I with feel like songs. I feel like that's the that's the sole purpose. Right. Is it hard to write a good song when you're in a nice, healthy relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because what, what do you want to say? Like, oh my God, he's the one. He's what? You know, like people that's don't want to listen to people that. People hear that though. People, they want to hear that. They, they want to hear that. Probably yeah. like one song, but after that, like, come on, women want. <laughs> <laughs> No, but like moms that have kids, they're like, that's true. That song, you know. So, so yeah. you gotta have both. You gotta have both. You gotta have both. Like, you know, one year you need to have like asshole boyfriend, and then the next year you need to have like healthy. I love that you're been cussing <laughs> the entire time, and I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Can we go out with maybe like a go-to dance move? <laughs> What's your go-to dance move? My go-to dance move. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, here we go. Go-to dance. Wait, wait, move. wait. So we, we need to do the wall, right? Again? Okay, I'm always. Hey. <laughs> You have the whole like shake at the bottom. Yes. I've perfected the bottom. Yes, I need to have that. A. 
Did you put that in slow motion? Okay, bye. <laughs>